Tiongnam is the leading total logistics provider in the region. We offer a diverse range of services from refrigerated transport and storage to total logistics IT solutions. Our strong regional network ensures that your goods will arrive safely at the destination. The customer matters most to us. Whatever your need, we will provide the best solution for you. Tiong Nam, you call, we deliver. Tionam Hordin Berhad in warehouse management and facilities. Overall, the industry has performed well over the year but has some problem that in, is inevitable. First, the study that has been analyzed in economic performance of the industry. Next, the issue that happened in this industry include the inefficient management in operation of warehousing capacity and the transport zones follow the standard. Lastly, it also focused on potential solution to handle the issue in Jonam, logistic per height. So it can improve their service to be the one of good logistic service in work. Introduction, the Tiongnam company was founded in 1975. Known to the public, Due to the early community being unaware of the extent of Tiongnam company, a small cargo and business considered through micro distribution in Peninsular Malaysia. Since growing this company, this has become one of the largest logistics service providers in the ASEAN. Among the service offered include provides for the cargo classified insurance. Coverage, duty rates, and regain customer efficient with customer EDI delivery. The company also has experience agent to monitor and asset with the documentation and release of the respective custom. The Tiongnam company provides credit service and the relevant custom checkpoint to move the container box to the truck owned by company affiliate map. Warehouse service is fully integrated with the fast and efficient delivery service. The company also has a large truck with the headset specific to ensure a good delivery on this Tiongnam company ahead of the schedule. I want to talk about current issue in Tiongnam Logistics Company. This table shows Tiongnam Logistics revenue from year 2011 until the expectation in 2021. In this table, we can see that the years from 2011 to 2019 are the revenue that they earn, while the year 2020 to 2021 are the journey they have made for the year coming. They also operate a large fleet of haulage trucks, trailer, car carriers, and prime movers that are equipped to move 20 until 40 foot containers. They also handle over 200 units of materials handling equipment such as forklift and reach truck to facilitate warehouse operation. They provide credit service at the relevant custom checkpoint to move their box container onto trucks owned by their affiliates in their country to avoid any unnecessary cost from the extra handling of goods. We chose to start our research in 2011 because we want to take the year close to the current year. Besides, the previous year shows that Tiongnam Logistics were developing and growing their business. Following performance of selected industry, we look on consolidated statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income for the years and 31 March RM1000. Based on the table show about consolidated statement, of profit or loss and other comprehensive income for the years and 31 March RM100 for 2011 until 2013 investment from that year are increased and stable because company Tiongnam Logistics have a strong financial and many investors invest for that year but from January 4th 2015 for years 2014, company Tiongnam Logistics suffered losses at Tiongnam Company repaid each investor capital one by one. 
The evidence show that company in year 2014, the company subdivided its issue and paid up capital of everyone, citing ordinary share of RM one ringgit each into five new ordinary share with weight average number of ordinary share for the previous year has been adjusted retrospectively for the effect of the share split. From January 1, 2016 between year 2012 until 2016 about the consolidated statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income is that, that the basic earning per share uh, compute best weight average number of ordinary share for the financial year under review to increase investor to invest in this company. January 1, 2017 and 2018 of journal company, the same rate of profitability is able to offset losses and has a lot of profit which is the basic earnings per share are computed based on weight average number of ordinary share for financial year under review. From January 2019, Kionam Logistics in this table show is decreased investment investor and decrease in capital through Kionam on company. From that, as we know, from Malaysia economy, which is marginally slower, GDP grow of 4.500%. There were several issues that occurred in Tiongnam Logistics during tenure in the field of logistics. As a transport and logistics, the interruption in business operation may be caused by both internal and external factor, which is probably due to the risk associated the inefficient management in operation of warehousing capacity. Tiongnam warehouse area is 4.7 million square feet only and it's no longer able to handle the increased demand from existing or potential customer and the daily operating will be affected. While storage space will be limited and the labor cost will increase dramatically. Tiongnam logistic growing economy in increase has caused the warehouse that not able to hold its goods for a long period of time. Another issue in logistic industry is the transport doesn't follow the standard, which is Tiongnam logistic industry still use Euro 2 fuel standard far behind because the engine of the transportation will dirty and will be interrupt the carrying heavy equipment and delaying the delivery of goods in the box container. It is also increasing cost in the terms of annual expenditure on company asset. Lastly, Tiongnam Logistics is one of the company that has problem with the lack of good and responsible truck drivers. The shortage of truck drivers in our country has been a problem for the industry for over a decade. The rewards and benefits offered to the truck driver are not worth it compared to other carriers and this is why many drivers leave the industry of logistics. Thank you. The solution for the warehouse is design a bigger warehouse. The design of receive and shipping area of the warehouse deserves special attention and depends on the transportation mode utilized. The material handling flex makes the unit of load and the packaging design. The safety system for warehouse operational also determined. To solve the problem of using tracker that do not meet the standard, the company will need to invest in buying the company asset. Tiongnam Logistics will need to spend money to buy Euro 5 or Euro 6 in order to launch the logistic movement of goods. The purchase of this asset can contribute to the efficiency and smoothness of the service to company offer. Tiongnam Logistics has received the heavy duty truck with Scania Malaysia Latest Store Q, transportation gearbox that will surely power its logistic service. Tiongnam Logistics has been able to provide transportation and installation service to larger and heavy equipment 
and structured as it has truck capable of securely and reliable carrying larger loads. In conclusion, Jonah Logistics Holding is a Malaysian-based company engaged in the provision of newly integrated logistics and warehousing service. The Tiona Logistics are provide services such as custom brokerage, include provision for cargo classification, insurance cover, duty rates, and regional customer competence. It also provides service haulage and transport, warehousing, and last meal delivery. By the looking of the topic is logistic system of Tionam Holding Berhide. In warehouse management and facilities can be related that it is a one of the largest total logistic service provider in the Asia Pacific region. They have a broad reputation of efficient innovation and excellent performance of GRC.